All right, we got some more Jewel Thief type circuits here. More fun with locking oscillators. Never really uh, made a video about that guy back there. Um, but he's very similar to a lot of the Transformer Jewel Thieves that I make. So he's essentially a 1.5 amp 120 to 12 volt transformer that's got a primary winding with a center tap and it's got secondary this is a this has got three uh, wires but uh normally like that guy just have your two wire secondary or the primary in in the case of its intended commercial use but uh essentially use those three windings as your jewel thief circuit center tap your positive then an either winding is your either lead is your uh, base or collector and then in the case of this guy basically took the secondary output ran that through bridge rectifier full wave rectifier doesn't want to zoom in but anyway that's the gist with that that guy over there the way that is is i've got these leads right here coming off my collector it's my collector current that's coming up in here right now running this fan and then i've got my secondary coming out of here these two leads here that's just straight ac and right now it's running uh one of these led tubes which is pretty nifty commercial led tube there's 96 leds on there i can take that off show what it looks like so that's pretty cool but i'm running this off this battery back here it's 3.7 volt uh, lithium cell so I basically got my DC over here, rectified collector current, which is running this load. And I've got the uh, AC on the secondary running these lights. And let's see, let's just take that fan off real quick. See, when I disconnect the fan, it doesn't really... Um, change the load it does in this case because this fan is old and crusty it doesn't want to kick start like it should so I'm gonna turn it up on high Let's see if we can get this guy going sometimes I gotta cut it on and off there we go I can ease back anyway so that's about four volts i'm going to turn it up so at about 350 milliamps tops i'm able to get that pretty nifty light Using a setup like that, get very high voltage out of these leads there. It will shock the crap out of you. So, that's what I use these guys for. I like this one. It works very well. 1.5 amp Radio Shack transformer. So I can charge batteries with that. Run lights with that. Likewise, we have this guy over here. I just explained. Same type of deal where you can use a uh, AA battery or if you uh, have the right transformer, you use the right transistor, you can run up to 12 volts, which is what I do with that guy. And let's see, here's an example of another way you can do it. This is just a, your uh, classic jewel thief. I've got my got a AAA battery right here that it's running off of. And inside there is a pretty decent sized toroid which is basically wound same way as this except I don't have 
a third leg for a different voltage. Um, this came out of a emergency exit sign, just happened to work. So it's got a leg for 120 volts and 277, uh, which is right here. But with the uh, toroid wound transformer, you, know, you just have your two windings for your jewel thief, then you wind a high turn secondary. So that's what I did here. That secondary is coming out through these prongs uh, through a bridge rectifier. It's got that capacitor on there. Well, a couple actually, but damn on switch. So let's cut this guy on. And the way I have it right now, just to show the different loads, I've got a 50 LED load right here. It's kind of hard to see that. Let's see. So that's 50 LEDs. Um, and that's a 30 watt heat sink right there. That that whole little strip right there is rated 30 watts. And I cut that up. That's about as bright as I can get that, which is pretty bright. You know, it's not full brightness, but that gets pretty bright right there. But it's got that annoying ring. Wasn't a whole lot I can do about it. Then, just to show, let's say, if you don't want to run a whole string of 50, because what's the point? It's probably more efficient that way, but you might just get a little bit more light with another load it all depends so this right here let's see this is a 14 led strip and this is basically just a cutout of one of those guys and i'm gonna put them in parallel real quick and this is the lower voltage load so it's going to steal the juice from this one when i touch this wire here so there that's what it looks like with a different uh, temperature led strip and fewer each one gets a little full closer to full brightness but uh that's just your uh classic jewel thief there 2n3055 uh, in there that's it i believe i'm only using this variable resistor as well along my base so it keeps it simple um and then one more example, took another one of these strips here, I have here. Um, so that's 96 LEDs. I just kind of uh, hot glued it on here for simplicity for the time being. But uh, that guy is 2N3055 also. Couple resistors in series. Um, one is about 350 ohms. The other is about, I want to say 5K. It's actually uh, 1K, actually, and I just have a switch shorting out that 1K, which lowers my base resistance, and that's a high. And then, power switch, and there's my uh, coil in there. It's hard to see. It's basically a bobbin stuffed inside a toroid with a 2-1 ratio. Uh, the the uh, higher turn being my base. And... I usually run it from one of these 3.7 volt cells. Right now, I've got my uh, leads hooked up to run it from this AA. I've just got my positive after the switch right now. So when I hook that up, just to show that it can be fairly useful from a uh, AA, I find it to be way more useful from one of these guys. But uh, let's see turn that away so that's about what I'm getting from my 1.2 volts not very bright it uh, looks a little brighter on camera that's fairly dim but it lights them all up and then um, on high it's actually fairly useful at night um, you see a good deal so just to kind of be able to like walk around with that, that's pretty cool.
but that's about 100 milliamps right there. That's about 50 milliamps. So I thought that wasn't bad. Probably would be better off running a strip more like that. But uh, I thought that was pretty cool. So, so excuse me, I'm going to take the uh, double A off. And then we're just going to run it from this battery. So, switch there. So, from that voltage, runs a lot better. But then, on the high, we have a very noticeable ring. Even though it's really cool and bright and useful. This is a 15 watt strip, by the way. I've decided I would just use some magnets to uh, whoops, kind of quench that hum. So when I put the magnets right on the uh, transformer here, like so, it takes away that ringing completely. However, it does change the inductance and it drops the output uh, of these lights a little bit. But it drops the current with it, so that's cool. So I don't have quite as bright of a low. And it's very it's much more noticeable on the low. Just barely different on the high. But I figure that's a worthy sacrifice to not hear that noise. But yeah, that was pretty cool. Um this will last quite a while, and I believe at this voltage, what we're looking at here is on low. It's about 150 milliamps high it's about 300 milliamps so this will actually run quite a while so yeah just cool jewel these stuff right there got a whole bunch more i'm actually working on right now but i found that if you don't want to use something this big for something like that then it's all about finding the right um, core. It's all it's all about the right permeability and all that. But can be done.